everybody. It's time to make like our favorite real life superheroes and have a firefighters party. I'm Lori Gelman. We're going to have a bucket brigade race and an obstacle course in the backyard. And as you can see, we've got everything we need to spring into action, including this fantastic fire engine cake. Our friend Leif Hansen for the Betty Crocker Kitchens is back at the firehouse. I mean the kitchen. So let's get started. Hey, Leif, good to see you. Hi, Lori. I love that we're doing a fire engine cake to honor America's bravest. So cool. Well, our fire engine's going to be bright red. Great. Okay. To start, I bake chocolate cake in an 8 by 4 inch pan. Okay. And we're going to start by cutting off the domes, leveling them off a little bit. I'm using a serrated knife and just cutting across. So now we're going to take the first piece here that we cut. Mm -hmm. We're going to lay it on here. And the next one, we're going to cut just a little piece off. And we're going to lay it down here just to lay it out. We'll put a little bit of um, frosting on to connect it later. Okay. And then this last one, we're going to cut right in half. Those are going to connect like that. And that'll be the front of oh, our fire wow. engine. Very so you can see it already cool. coming yeah, together, definitely. right? Yeah, definitely. So now we're going to take a little bit of frosting just to connect the pieces. So you can just lay it right on there. That is some seriously red frosting. And we'll do the same here. Is that just simple food coloring? Yep. Can you, to get a really vibrant color, you can use a, a gel food coloring. And also, if the cake moves a little bit, you can always put a little bit underneath. So this one's ready to be crumb coated. Luckily, I already have one ready to go. So this was in the refrigerator for about an hour, I think. Yeah, that'll firm up the frosting so your final coat will be nice and clean. And I'm going to go ahead and start to frost it. I'm going to put a nice sized dollop on top here and on top here. Wow, that seems like a lot to put on it first. It's know? a lot, but we're going to spread it all out and we'll even take the excess off after we've smoothed it all. And now when you do the top here, you, let, you want the frosting to come over the edges a little bit because oh, that'll do? help okay. you frost the sides. So I'm going to come in here. Okay, so now I'm frosting the sides again just to get them smooth. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of frosting will hopefully go up over the edge and form a lip which will make it easier to smooth out the top. So here I'm going to come in like an airplane landing, scrape and take off. We're almost done with this part. Now, Lori, while I'm doing these last steps, mm -hmm. maybe you could take some of that white frosting and scoop it into the bowl and add a little drop of our black food coloring so we can make some gray. Okay. Well, while you do that, I'm just going to try to neaten up this edge a little bit. Take that and I'll fill up a pastry bag. Okay, I'm going to put a cap on this before I ruin anything. That's a good idea. Always put the caps on your food coloring. Yeah. Okay, I'm using a disposable pastry bag. Mm -hmm. You can use a pastry cone. You can use a freezer bag. Oh, that's a great Whatever idea. you have, it, it'll work for this. And I'm just going to fill it up. How big a hole do you cut in the bottom? For this, I'm going to cut a medium-sized hole, which is probably between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch diameter. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. First, I'm just going to fill in this little area here with a little gray, give it a little separation, a little metallic separation here. So I'm go down here, and then I'm going to come back with my spatula again, I'll use this one, and just smooth it out a little. Then, before we do any more piping, we're going to put on some little cookie wheels. Mm, okay. These are little chocolate sandwich cookies. I'm going to put one there, one here, and then we'll do two on the other side. Okay. So now, I'm going to pipe little hubcaps, which are basically just little dots in the center. Mm -hmm. You okay. just don't want to miss any good details. No. Okay, so now I'm going to do a border. I'm just going to pull down, across, and then follow that bottom edge and then up around the wheel again. Okay, I'm going to do that on both sides. And then we're going to get the front, front bumper. And this one you can actually do it a little bit thicker, maybe two stripes. Just smooth it out. So now we're going to do a couple more piped accents. And I've already filled up another pastry bag mm -hmm. with white. So we're going to do a window in the front. And I'm going to Pipe the outline of the window, and then fill it in. Oh, that looks great. And then again, come back and smooth it out. 
I'm going to do two side windows. So now I'm going to pipe the ladder on top. Just squeeze a line across and then another one parallel to it. And you're going to do lines across. I'm trying to think of what else there is on a fire engine. We have the hoses. Want to put on these? Yeah. The little <laughs> licorice spirals there. Yeah. Which we'll put one on each side. Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. These aren't too big? No, that'll be perfect. There you go. So now I'm going to put some little white dots here, and that's going to show us where we're going to put our flashing lights. Okay. Maybe we'll alternate red and yellow up there, maybe two red there. Do you want to do that? I've got gumdrops here. Okay. I can do that with. Great. Yellow. Put them on there. I'm just going to put dots for the back headlights. Perfect. And voila. So we're done. That looks fantastic. It looks like it's ready to race off and put out a fire somewhere. That's for sure. Thank you. This was so much fun to make. I think anyone who makes this cake is going to be a big hero to their kids. For more recipe videos, visit lifemadedelicious.ca.